These are my samples of escape maps um, in World War II. Then sometimes escape maps were given to pilots, so if they landed in certain areas, they'd know how to find their way out. And also sometimes they were um, tried to snuck in to um, prisoners of war so they could get out of wherever they were being trapped. These I'm going to mix some plaster and put in here and then see the effects of being encased in plaster by smashing these escape marks. I've mixed the plaster up using about let's see 500 mils of water and about 300 grams of the plaster. Now I'm going to pour some in and put my bits of fabric in. Let's see what happens, how the plaster affects the material and the dyes and the some symbolic smashing of the plaster to get the escape marks out. It's all a bit pretentious, but fun. There we go. I'll leave that overnight and I'll let you see it smash tomorrow. This is the result of my fabric that I casted in the plaster box. It is a really smooth texture, like I don't know what's given it that compared to the usual plaster powderiness. It's almost like marble. Um, also, I think the tea from the fabric samples has actually dyed the plaster, which is interesting. And you can actually see the texture in the bottom of it, which is quite beautiful, but the camera doesn't really capture it in the film. Now, I'm going to break it with a hammer. So I'll go and get a hammer. This is as if it was a escape map, an escape map, and it's been transferred into the prisoners of war's domain, and they have to get out of this block. That's just an idea. And um, here's the hammer. And there's the cracks. Quite fantastic. Now, let's see if we can. Break it out. See the effect. Of the plaster on pieces of fabric. I might have to hammer it a little bit more. A bit messy. This is the samples, the silk samples after they've come out of the plaster. As you can see the turquoise um, heat set silk paint here has maintained its quality although the tea has been reduced in intensity, the tea dye as you can see in comparison in my sketchbook ones but um, I must note that the silk paint I used on these ones is different from the colours on the ones that I put in the plaster. In this sample 